Yo, what up, niggas? You won't believe it. Yes, it's true. Your boy Wilborn done dropped a DNA bomb on some noobs. I told you in my last video that I was gonna make a new account for reverse boosting, and I did it. Well, I really didn't make a new account, but I already had an account on my PlayStation 3. It was my brother's. I just got on his account <laughs> and dropped his stats hella low, but he don't even play, so it don't matter. I was so happy when I got that DNA bomb. I was like, damn. I thought I wasn't gonna never get another DNA bomb. I started recording this video kind of late. I'll usually wait till I get on a 10 kill streak, then I press record on my HD PVR because I don't want to start recording from the beginning of the gameplay because I might die or something. I wait till I get like on a 10, so at least I know I get a ruthless metal or a relentless or something like that. So the kill streaks I was using was UAV and I had the orbital VSAT thingy on that and I was using the Warbird and I had Defender on that so I have to control it. Uh, you should use these two kill streaks when you're going for DNA bombs because the UAV it helps you. It's better than a um, Oracle from Ghost because it's a UAV and an Oracle at the same time. And the uh, Warbird, I put Defender on that so whenever I'm on my streaks, let's say if somebody behind you and you like one off your DNA bomb, the Warbird it can protect you and it'll kill that guy behind you and you don't even have to control it. It's like a guardian angel or something. Well, I'm only level 17 on this new account, and I already got a DNA bomb. I got like a 1.08 KD on there. I'm going to drop it lower than that, like a 0 0.55, <laughs> so I can get in lobbies with fucking retards. <laughs> I just got to unlock that Maul's um, launcher, and then I'm just going to repeatedly kill myself back-to-back -back soon as I spawn. So I'm going to probably bring in a lot more DNA bombs now since I got this other account. Like, I didn't even know this kind of these kind of players exist like I didn't even know it was this many bad players on Call of Duty that's probably why it's so hard for me to find a lobby on my main account because all the players I go against on there are tryhards and it's the, ain't that many tryhards in Call of Duty most of them are noobs so when you're watching this gameplay what what do I even need a party for I'm the best solo player that it is on Call of Duty I don't need no full party I play solo I run my own support I'm my own six-man party <laughs> But if you ever want to party up just leave your name in the comment section I'm only on ps3 right now, but I might get a ps4 soon Maybe if I get a job or something like that Or I find a gift card laying in the middle of the street with four hundred dollars on it But that's the only way I'll be able to get a ps4 if a miracle happened I wasn't even planning on getting this gameplay tonight, but I just got on my ps3 Pit in Advanced Warfare. Well, I put it in, I got it downloaded, but I pressed on Advanced Warfare and I got on. I was like, man, I'm finna start reverse boosting. I, I can't work till next weekend. I gotta see if this really real or if somebody just trolling me. But now I know it's real, as you can see by the gameplay. Like, I ain't played against noobs like this since they brought bots to Call of Duty. <laughs> I'm just playing. These kids, they ain't that bad, but they pretty bad. I say I was playing against eight-year-olds. That's how this they skill level eight-year-old squeakers. But except they didn't have mics. I guarantee you, if they had mics, they probably would have been eight-year-old squeakers or like fifty-year-old granddads or something. Well, I'm about to start uploading a lot more advanced warfare now since I know the secret and how all these pub stumpers are getting all these gameplays. Yeah, I got the secret now. I know it. I'm probably gonna go try to apply for a pub stumping clan. I hope I find one good that on ps3 and don't mind me uploading old call of duties like mw3 because i still like to play this often and black ops 1 and black ops 2 i still can get gameplays on those even though they old like let me tell you how bad these players <laughs> these players was in my lobby like it was a guy on my team and when i called in the dna bomb he was like yo what the hell is that <laughs> And I was like, bro, that's the DNA bomb. He was like, I never heard of it. I was like, wow. If you're one of those persons who always begging to get a good lobby and you always trying your best to get a good lobby, this is what you got to do to get a good lobby. Drop your stats, bro. Or make a new account with low stats. And don't prestige at all. Stay on first prestige. Because I think the skill-based matchmaking got to do with your prestige, too. Like, I hate they even invented that, bro. They said it was in Black Ops 2, but I really could never tell. Because on um, Black Ops 2, I always did good, no matter if I was going against tryhards or noobs. 
I'm thinking about making me a Twitch, but I'm gonna wait till I get a little bit more subscribers so they can follow me on Twitch. I don't even know how to stream yet. Like I, I gotta go look up some YouTube tutorials on how to stream and live stream and all that shit. But damn, how many unstoppables did I get this game? So all thanks to that Warbird. Like you need to run that shit, bro. That shit gonna save you. Like even if you can't get a DNA bomb, run a Warbird. At least you'll get a vicious metal. Well, anyways, this gameplay is almost over. It's coming to an end. Hope you like the gameplay and the DNA bomb. Leave a like if you want to see more DNA bombs on my channel. Ben Wilborn, I'm out. Peace.